हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द यूनिलैटरल जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द टू साइडेड और बाइलैटरल जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म so in the previous lectures we understood about two sided or bilateral z transform which was represented as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n the unilateral z transform or one sided z transform can be represented as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n from this we can understand that two sided or bilateral z transform will range from minus infinity to infinity but unilateral or one sided z transform will range from 0 to infinity so from this we can say that the summation in unilateral or one sided z transform is carried out only for positive values of n or non negative values of n since the summation is ranging from 0 to infinity so we can represent unilateral z transform as x of n for this if we perform unilateral z transform we will obtain x of z here we can say unilateral z transform is equivalent to causal signal since the summation is ranging from 0 to infinity both bilateral z transform and unilateral z transform satisfies all the properties except for time shift property so here bilateral as well as unilateral z transform satisfies all the properties except for time shift property here unilateral z transform doesn't satisfy the time shift property now let us consider y of n is equal to x of n minus 1 for this let us perform unilateral z transform we know we can write y of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity y of n z to the power of minus n let us substitute y of n in this expression we will get y of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus 1 z to the power of minus n if we can observe the formula for unilateral z transform so you can see unilateral z transform is performed for x of n so here we are having x of n minus 1 so that's why what we can do so we can write the above expression as y of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity since we are having x of n minus 1 x of n minus 1 z to the power of minus n for this summation we can add x of minus 1 because we are commencing from n is equal to 1 to infinity for x of n minus 1 let us take n minus 1 is equal to m from this we will get n is equal to m plus 1 if we put n is equal to 1 we will get m is equal to 0 and if you put n is equal to infinity we will get m is equal to infinity therefore we can write y of z is equal to x of minus 1 plus for n is equal to 1 we can write summation of m is equal to 0 we can write m is equal to 0 for n is equal to infinity we can write m is equal to infinity so summation will be m is equal to 0 to infinity x of m z to the power of minus m plus 1 so we can write y of z is equal to x of minus 1 plus for this z term we can write 
z to the power of minus m into z to the power of minus 1. So, we can take this z to the power of minus 1 outside the summation and we can write z to the power of minus 1 summation of m is equal to 0 to infinity x of m z to the power of minus m. So, we can write y of z is equal to x of minus 1 plus z to the power of minus 1. This entire term we can write it as x of z. So, this is very much important you need to remember so that it is helpful for us to solve the problems. Similarly, for y of n is equal to x of n minus 2 we can get the unilateral z transform as y of z is equal to x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 into z inverse plus z to the power of minus 2 x of z and for y of n is equal to x of n minus 3 if we take the unilateral z transform at that case we can write this as y of z is equal to x of minus 3 plus x of minus 2 z to the power of minus 1 plus x of minus 1 z to the power of minus 2 plus z to the power of minus 3 into x of z. So, remember these formulas so that it is helpful for us to solve the problems. This is about the introduction to unilateral z transform. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.